Hey, it's Testosterone RN. I was thinking about shooting today. It was a good day to shoot. And I was also thinking about nursing school. Now, why am I thinking about these two together? Well, in nursing school, we had to pick a topic for presentations one day, and these two gals, bless their heart, decided to pick GSWs, or gunshot wounds, which is awesome. Um, I was excited to hear the presentation, but during the presentation, they said that it was a myth that the entrance wounds of a bullet are just as big as the exit wounds. The exit wound is usually no bigger uh, than the entrance wounds. And I thought, well, that might be true for full metal jackets, but that's not true overall. So today, we're going to dispel that myth. And I thought, while well, most people use ballistics gelatin to show how a bullet works, and it is a little bit more with the consistency of a human being for the purposes of discussing gunshot wounds. Not that I condone shooting people, because I certainly don't. Yes, of course. With the spirit of the holiday season, we'd use some big old pumpkins. And uh, we're gonna use a 4570 government Marlin 1895 SS. And I got some uh, good rounds for it that are made for hunting big game. So we'll see just how big that exit wound really is compared to the entrance wound. We're gonna break out the Moat Vepper that you guys saw in my other video. We're gonna have a little fun. I'm in the mood for some pumpkin pie. So we're gonna change these guys from a solid to a liquid. And that's gonna be a good time. All right, so I have my 4570 government, my Marlin 1895 SS lever action. And we're gonna be shooting 4570 government, 325 grain projectiles. And these are leaving the muzzle at 2,050 feet per second. So you can only imagine the amount of force they're gonna be putting on the target um, compared to like a regular 45 ACP. So hope you guys enjoy the show. Wound that's one shot from a 4570 government. Let's go around the back side and see how big the hole is. I haven't seen it yet. Wow, well, look at there. I don't think that what they said in that presentation was necessarily true, but you know, I'll let you see the evidence and decide for yourself. Now, I got four more rounds from that I got to put through it, and then I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with that semi automatic 12 gauge. Let's get to it. Tell you what, after the fourth shot, you really start to feel it. All right, well, it's time to break out the Moat Vepper now.
tell you what, this is the fourth shot and you really start to feel it. Kicks a lot harder than that AR-15 does. Okay, so there's the front of the pumpkin. After five, only five shots have been fired through this pumpkin with the 4570 government. And there's the backside. So I think the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Or in this case, the pumpkin pie. Right here, got the got my max rounds. 20 round drum on there. Um, it's time to finish off these pumpkins and get that pie going before it gets too dark. Let's get her done. Okay, well, looks like we got done with our pumpkins here. Got some gathered up, make some pumpkin pie. You know, as testosterone RN, I like to provide a lot of health-related information to the community, that's the RN part. But as a guy, I like to uh, cut loose and have fun every once in a while, and that's the testosterone part. I can't do this without y'all. I rely on you to subscribe, share with your friends and family, and promote my videos. I hope you stay tuned. We got a lot more good videos coming up soon. And uh, right now it's about time to uh, get this in the oven. Mm. I'll do like fresh pumpkin pie.